Hello everyone, welcome to Stone Hearth Me Bunto. Welcome, welcome back. I started to, to run this pottage down here, so now uh, people should be putting in some vegetable meat and all kinds of things like grain in it. And we should try to make a good, good soup, a good, good pottage together in town and keep adding things to it. I also had a goblin battle over here. It was a grand battle, but um, yeah, Windows decided that it uh, was gonna reset my audio thing, so we didn't want it to happen, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, we're back in town, and um, we also I've been designing another building. This building, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it all. I just kind of did it for fun. So I made this little building up here, and it's actually based on our little storage house down here, as you can see. I made it taller, added some more shapes to it. I'm not sure if the, like, the roof shape really fits this town. It feels more that it should be in a different kind of town. Maybe I will keep the house, but perhaps I will make it more similar to this one, where the roof is kind of bending like that. This is more... I I'm not sure if I should say like Japanese or something like that. It's a very, very special shape. But we might change a few things. I don't think it's going to be too hard to change it if we need to. We may just need to like remove a few blocks here and there to get it to be really the way we wanna, want it to be, right? And I can let you guys be deciding a bit. And as you can see, it did have a little bit more details. That's what we had outside of this one before. But I decided we don't really need that, maybe for this one. That's that. And let's see, let's name this one. I tend to name them like work in progress. I know that that one is not finished yet. And then I tend to forget to change the name. <laughs> We're also gathering some energy for the Amberstone Bunnies. We have up to 51% already, so we're on good track with that. And healing items, it looks like we got the tonics now, so now we just need a bandages. Yes. We're gonna have a look at that again. And uh, first I wanna see the merchant. Ooh, there's some good food here. Maybe we can buy some. Um, veggie rolls, let's buy two of those. I can only afford one. Okay, let's see. What do they wanna pay for? Seasoning and zesty herbs and cooking oil, so nothing that I have a lot of. I have a lot of jerkies. We could sell some of that, I guess. Um, because it's only raw food at the moment. Let's see, what do these guys want to buy? Okay, we could buy some milk. That could maybe be good. Some mumu milk. Yeah, let's buy some of that. Might return to the Podio Perch Ranch uh, animal supplies later on to buy some more milk. Trader, okay. Stone, what did they want to buy? They want to buy some pelts. Okay, let's sell a few pelts. And then have a northerner merchant that's arrived with some unique goods from the Valkyrie Woods. Ross snap. I think we can buy some of that and use that for herbs. I think we may need that actually. Don't think we have anything. I'm not sure the name for that kind of herb, but it's the the bluish one. If we go inside of here, we can see it. So for snap, it's soothing herb, and we don't have any to grow like that. So it's, it would be a good idea to buy some. I think that would be a good idea if you do. And um, you paid extra for stone, but still only paying one. I'm gonna sell a bit though, because I have it to way too much stone. And then we can buy some of these herbs. And some white herbs, there we go. And, oh, it actually says that that's a mild one, okay. Nice, okay. So let's uh, pay a visit to the herbalist and see if it has bandages that we need. And these might take a while, I said so before, might take a while. We also do need to have the herbalist garden even be able to make them, so it's this one. Let's make that. And then let's see for those bandages. Then we need robust herbs, and I don't think we were able to grow any like that. No, we will have to wait, or buy it. So let's just pay another visit to the merchants again. Okay, none of them had that. I'm gonna buy a bit more milk. But yeah, uh, we have this uh, special stall that we're trying to make as well with the, the um, carpenter, the farmer guild market stall. It's an exclusive market stall that allows you to be visited by a special merchant providing crop seeds that can be learned. So this is a really, really powerful and we locked it with half a share with Ace Mod. So what we need for this one is any bolt of cloth and we definitely should be able to do that. We have a bolt of cloth, but it seems we need a loom. 
have I removed the loom we had? I might have done so. I'm pretty sure we have had a loom, but I could be totally wrong on that. Uh, but we're definitely going to make sure we have one put out. Because we do have one here. And uh, I wonder where the other one is. The other parts. Oh, here it is. We do have a loom. Ah, oh, that's a spinning wheel. What? Ah, I never put this one out. Okay. There we go. I probably never had it out. Okay. That's going to be useful. <laughs> Finally we're getting the loom in town. That's going to be awesome. And yeah, let's see what kind of weapon we're going to be equipping. So I changed the two-handed for a Banto. Uh, let's see what weapon. I got a giant bone axe. Okay, awesome. And let's see for Donnie. Here we got an, the lantern mace. Nice. So I feel like we have a pretty good setup now. I may want to have maybe another archer or an, another footman. It's really nice when battle comes, when you have them available, but during the peace times, it's kind of nice to allow them to do other things around town, really. Look at these beautiful tumbleweed. They even got some beautiful flowers on them. That's so nice. Ah, we are outside repairing. A blacksmith repairing the iron frame door, nice. Okay, I think we may not have any broth. So let's make sure we get some broth to get started with that pottage. So we need this one. And uh, let's make like six. Put that to the top. And I wonder if we need to have more than one cook. I think one cook at the moment maybe is good enough. We could have two though, definitely. We have four workers, which I think is a good amount. It's not too many, not too few. And I haven't put out my Poyu lantern yet, so I'm going to try to put it in a different place. Because I wanted to see how this one looks, because I never had it before. So I'm going to put it up here for now, and later we can just remove it. Another pro profession I want to get is the brewer, by the way. So with the brewer we're going to be able to make more tasteful drinks than we have at the moment. And let's see, I think it's the shepherd we promote to become a brewer. Yes, it is. Okay. So we need to be a level 2 herbalist. So I might actually promote one of our current workers to level up as a herbalist. And then later on we will promote them to a brewer. Because uh, I think I might want to have two herbalists. Because we're doing quite a bit of crafting with them. So we might need to have two of them. Oh, now they're contributing to the pottage. Ooh, look at that. We got the pottage started. Better than broth, but could definitely be improved with a whole piece of meat. Yes. We have plenty of meat. There we go. Chicken meat. Oh, you can even see it's going inside. Nice. Ordinary pottage. Try some grain to make it thick and yummy. I like this. This is so nice. Gotta bring some grain. Looks like Ira Krasar brought some grain. Upgraded. It would be better. A leafy veggie, maybe. We should have that available as well. We should be getting some good, good pottage. Oh, creatures are drawn by the amber stones. Okay, let's get people ready for battle. Crystal has been charged as well. Okay, let's first deal with the battle. Oh, don't destroy this little guy. Okay, now we can go with destroy them instead. Everyone going over the boat. Even cats can take boats. Even these wolves can take boats. If we go back like this, we can have some boat to battle with the wolves. And this guy is on a boat already. Okay, let's battle on the floating boats. <laughs> okay, there we go. But yeah, we did charge the amber stones. So let's have a look at this. Crystal charging. Ah. The thrill brilliance of the amberstone is a sight to behold. Thank you for your kind service. Take these and fangs. We got a wooden floor mat, amberstone, large jar. Thank you, thank you, Sasha. Thank you, thank you. That's so nice. Okay. So let's go into the trade window, by the way. And uh, I was thinking if we can see, so we can maybe try to get more herbless stuff. But they might bring herbs. Okay, we definitely want to have that. Maybe agriculture, we can load that a little bit. 
I really, really mostly probably want to get herbs, I would say. A new partnership. Such a light fit approaches a small load bearing stone insect bobbling along behind him. Friends, not so long ago, my kind were afraid of your kin of monkey, but you have dissolved our purposeless repetition. We have found you a dependable ally in above ground, very forsooth. In rabbit culture, when a new warren is dug, it exchanges the statues with his neighbors to symbolize a mutual welcoming. We know you are unaware of this, but uh, we have come to offer this for our part. Such a gesture to the beautifully chiseled statue of smooth, cool stone ornamented with intricate weavings and golden core of what must be the amber stone. This partnership is somewhat unprecedented, but we think that you may represent a hope for us against the coming darkness. You shall see us again soon. Oh, and feel free to keep the cricket golem. It would slow me down on the return trip. Farewell. I think we are honored. And yeah, the darkness is coming, so we have to be prepared and help them. Okay, so let's put out the cricket. We have two of them in here. And I just love this feature. It's so nice to be able to search here, right? With the new Ace update. So nice. And guys, maybe we should get an engineer. So let's have like, we want to get a brewer. So we can brew in some good, good potions. And potions, but drinks. And we also do want to have um, the engineer to put out some turrets and traps. Okay, food is keeps going up. Not super fast, but it's going up. And the pottage is brewing here. So nice. They want to add some more grain. Okay, that's good. But yeah, engineer and um, brewer. Okay, let's see. So currently we have one blacksmith, Joseph. And uh, maybe we should get um, another blacksmith then. We could try to only have like one. Maybe. Herbless for a while. I think we might need to have two though. And the good thing with having a few extra herbalists is that if we, for whatever reason, need to promote to cleric, we already have them prepared to become one. Yeah, but let's see here for people, and uh, I think Ira would be a good a choice to become a blacksmith. So we need a hammer first, okay? So to get that one, I think we have to promote one to be a mason again. Oh, we unlocked Sugar Bell, that's awesome. That one takes a while sometimes to get. And the good thing with this one is that this one will provide uh, sugar. That's awesome. I'm gonna make some of that. Nice, okay. Oh, there's a lot of weapons here. But yeah, we have to have a look then. So I think it's Orlon Doc or Dr. Heat that... Um, oh, oh yeah, Dr. Heat was a mason before. So if you just make Dr. Heat to become a mason for a little while. They can help around with a little bit of those stuff for now. So let's see, a blacksmith hammer. Ah, we can make two while we're at it, I guess. I suppose. Another trapper knife, maybe. Another cook spoon. Okay, that should be pretty good. And uh, the brewer thing is made by the herbalist. And I wonder if you don't already have one. Okay, let's make it. So we're only gonna need one. We need the soft metal bits and the wooden logs. And it looks like we may need to get some more wood soon. So uh, unless we get a trader super soon. I'm just gonna harvest a little bit. And the good thing with this harvest I'm doing now is get and replant. So they will replant the thing again. Really nice. Yeah, but we don't have like a lot of trees around here, so we gotta be a bit careful. And I did plant the acacia tree up here, so this is a beautiful high quality tree, so... I might actually keep that one for later and let it be there. And here's the little Poyo torch we just put out, the little lantern. Looking beautiful, I love that, look at that one. Maybe not very fitting for our town, but I, I think it's really beautiful. I'm gonna undeploy it though. But for another town, it would be really beautiful for the, like, the ascendancy. I see we have a lot of people, or not a lot of chicken, that has lost a bit of health. Simple covers, uh, comfortable and enough for most cold nights. Could use an extra blanket though, protected from chilly and cold weather, but not from the freezing weather, okay. So, I'm guessing we need more beds, it looks like we do. We only have like five beds here, we need to have 
up to 17 bands even. And I'm really, really considering moving this. So maybe I have a smaller place for chickens. This one is really, really big. And it feels a little bit odd to have it behind the, the restaurant, right? I mean, it's quick access for some food and eggs. and I mean, that's pretty good, actually. But I don't think you want to sit at the restaurant and hear chickens. Maybe some do, but I, <laughs> I don't think most people want to hear chicken like going on like that. I don't think they want to hear that, right? So, um, hmm. We shall see, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, let's remove that building for now. And I had ideas to have like um, a house here. I might do so, but I just got a new idea. So if you make a new building, I'm thinking that it could be like a platform up here. It could be like a place maybe people go here to eat or sit at the benches and look over town. So I think it could be kind of fun to make like a... It would almost be like a small a little um, park almost. So I might change the shape a bit of it as well. So let's first start maybe with some basics. So let's go with... Um, I think I can grab the same color used for roads. Grab that, make sure we got it. That should be the correct one. I'm not sure if it actually is. Okay, it should be. It looks so weird. I think it's because of the weather. We got a heat wave. So that's why it looks so odd. Like, it's kind of hard to design this way because it doesn't really look that way. You see, it looks like very, like, yellowish, kind of. Uh, but uh, Ace is working on a new feature that uh, is going to make this a lot easier to see how it actually looks. So I can't wait for that one. It's going to be it's gonna be super good to have it. But I think we do something like this. And maybe, maybe we fill out so it's uh, the same amount here and here. Doesn't need to be, but I think I'm going to do that. We do that with maybe blocks like so. And maybe even one more like that. So we're like covering up every face here. So maybe like that, it should be the same. There we go. And then we can make something up here. But like I said, it's gonna be really, really tricky at the moment because the colors are looking odd. The real color is more like the color down here rather than this. This looks more sandy, kind of. So I think I'm gonna start first with... Um, I'm just gonna make the second most outer tile into this color. Like that. And then we're gonna form like a square, I think. And maybe, maybe a little bit smaller. I think that's about centered. So the idea, like you get in the town, you will see that, and then we have some some trees, probably like the date palm trees. It could also be acacia trees, but smaller. But I think I'm gonna go for the date palms because they, I think they look very fitting. And then here we probably wanna have some border, and I'm thinking that we can use the green color we had before. Maybe it won't pop out too much, maybe it won't. We're gonna see. Gonna have, have to try to dare to discover what works. So we do it like that, maybe. And then we do a little bit of coloring over here. We can even make like faces if we want to. Not so satisfied face. <laughs> or we can make it look almost like a little bunny face. So now we can see the color had changed quite a bit, right? Oh, what is this thing? Shooting stars, the sky is lit by a spectacular meteor shower. Oh, what? Shooting stars will bring joy to most halflings. Sometimes one of them may actually land nearby. What? If you hear or see something un unusual, scan the horizon for smoke columns. What? I have to check this. I love 
night stuff. Oh, is he? We run in the background. Oh, there was another one. The R is so quick, but just like a real life DR. I usually go out um, during the end of summer. There's like the Perseids meteor shower every year. There's like a hundred uh, per hour at the peak hour. It's really awesome. Totally recommend it. So nice to see like space stuff like that. But yeah, I wonder if we actually can get one that strikes down somewhere. That would be really cool and scary at the same time. <laughs> now I kind of just want to see if it's going to happen or not. Looking from up here, it almost makes me think of like an Age of Empires town almost. With his angle and everything. I guess we will see if we discover something. Maybe that star can hit the uh, crypt and it can be happy people again. <laughs> There's some goblins over here. Are you enjoying the star shower? <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I guess we go go back to this. Okay, I feel like I want to add some more details on this to not make it look um, as flat as it look at the moment. So I'm thinking of adding something like this, almost like columns. They might even go up one step above, like that. Let's give that a try at least. That we do the same here to like keep the um, theme going. I hope I didn't miss some struck down star somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised if we do have one somewhere. If you guys see something odd, do let me know. Then I would definitely go and have a look. Oh, there's some goblins. Okay, I'm gonna go and take them out. Coming to attack us again. Let's just activate some potions. Let's start running out. Oh wow, did you see that? Shooting from the boat. That was such a fast arrow. From so far away. Wow, how they upgraded the range on the how archer? Like, that's insane amount of range. I love it. Oh, we got a crossbow equipped now also. High damage armor penetration, they can't use the double shot to build it. Ah, okay. So we will see if we can use the crossbow or not, but yeah, they deal more damage, but they can't use the double shot. The double shot is pretty cool though. Okay, uh, I want to check the pottage before we continue. Okay, decent pottage. Pretty good, but they can have even better. A leafy veggie maybe. Okay, I think they're just going to continue with that one over time. And it's going to grow into a beautiful, beautiful communal feast. Okay, so I have these sticking up here. And I was thinking if we should make some shapes. Like, I'm mostly in, like, experimentation mode here. No, like, real inspiration for this. Just experimenting. Maybe we add some color around here. Be too much details we will see we did have some merchants i heard as well so we might have a look at that soon okay there we go so maybe one tree there and one in the middle over that oh in the corners we will see and we also need to have like a staircase to get down here but i think that we will maybe dig away some up here i think we'll do that so let's order a little digging mission Ooh, like all the way like that. So we can just form our own staircase there. That's gonna be good. It could also be like a little building with a roof before you get out here. Yeah, that could be fun. I love like when you start to design something and then you come up with another idea and it continues on and on and on. I like that. 
Herbalist has unlocked a blue tulip cactus. Nice, that can be a good thing. I think that's going to provide us with... Yeah, soothing herbs. Great, awesome. We still need that robust one, however. But who knows, maybe we can buy and get some. Look up, there's a shooting star. Okay, yeah, that was the one from before. So there might be a crash star somewhere, but I think we might have seen it. If it were one. And let's see here, merchant stops by. I don't want to buy some bows. I, I'm not sure if I want to sell them though. I do want to pay a bit for it, however. Uh, some weapons we can sell. Maybe the lower grade weapons. Ah, let's find, sell some fine stuffing. Gold flakes pays for a lot at the moment. Okay, still need those for the light bandages. Uh, let's increase the amount of cloth we maintain. I think it was too few. Uh, because if we look at this one, how many did we need? We needed three and added on two, so we needed to make more. So that's gonna be great. We wanna maintain that amount. Okay, yeah. Okay, so let's make sure we have some people digging. So let's remove filling and hauling on two of these. So I wonder why did I not want to dig that? Uh, to be sure, we can add a ladder to get there. Oh yeah, they didn't have, they needed one more block to go down here, okay. That makes sense. And I'm not gonna remove this layer, I think, because that could be part of the design we do, maybe. Maybe. I am, I'm just gonna try to teleport up some trees. We can teleport them down so we don't feel like cheating, but... Let's just try to teleport these up and see how it could look. Let's say we would have them sitting like there. And then we will have another one. Yeah, it would be sitting over there. So for now, let's have them maybe in that position. We could be sitting something like that up there. Then we'd have like some benches and things around to sit and eat. That's going to be the idea at least. Borrowed time. Hello, Sasha. Would you be willing to send one or more experienced cook as a liaison for two days? We would love to learn more about human cuisine. We provide supplies and they will be honored guests in the warring. Uh, yeah, sure. I have to get like another cook first, like Danny, the extraordinary crafter. I can't send him. He's the only cook. Like, we have to have another one then. Then maybe I will allow Danny to go to the bunnies and work for them for a bit. <laughs> Um, we only have, uh, I think, one farmer. Okay, we have some... Let's see. I'm gonna need more people soon. We have 22. We're gonna need more people soon. So if we have Ira become a cook then... And then we're gonna need another blacksmith. And then we're gonna need another herbalist. So we're gonna end up with like one worker at the moment <laughs> so maybe maybe we'll take one of our current for now at least uh, list and then make them become our brewer for now maybe maybe Kanta can become one and uh, let's try it at least level one cook nice maybe Danny can teach you to become a good good cook we need to be a level three plus at least go there. And there we go, we got a brewer, awesome. So uh, we have a lot of things here, we're gonna explore that. And I think we're gonna save that for the next episode, guys. So this is gonna be it for today, I'm gonna be experimenting more with this one for the next videos, and if you have ideas for it, feel free to provide it in the comments. And I will add that to the ID for this one. But ID for now is kind of that we're going to have this like a plateau. We're going to have some trees up here. We're going to have some benches. And people are going to be able to go here and sit and eat and chill and relax. And over here there will either be like a, yes, a staircase going up. Maybe two. Or one in the middle. 
Or it's going to be like a small little building with a roof over here. And then you can go outside of here. And maybe under here there will also be tables and chairs under it, the roof. But yeah, we will see what happens. Do let me know in the comments what you guys think. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys had a good, good time. And uh, hope to see you guys next time. So thanks for watching and take care. Have a good one.